Begin by typing from visual import star on the first line of your program. To create a 3D object, type the name of the object you'd want to create followed by an open and closed parentheses. Run the program and let's see what we get. In order to view the output, we need to save the file. So I'll just call this test and add on a .py extension. So what do we see? Well, you see a sphere with a position at the center of the scene. It has a given radius and a given color. These perceptual details are called attributes. All spheres have the same default attributes. So let's change each of these attributes beginning with the sphere's position to make our sphere unique. Between the parentheses, let's define the position of the sphere by moving it just one unit to the left. That means changing the x-coordinate of the sphere's position to negative 1. Note that the position attribute is a vector quantity. So each attribute is separated by a comma. And now let's change the radius to 0.5. And all you do is just type out radius. And now let's make this sphere green. You could re also replace the word green with red, cyan, magenta, yellow, and so on. Run the program, and let's see if the output matches what you'd expect to happen. Different 3D objects have different attributes. An arrow doesn't have a radius. Instead, it's defined by how far it stretches and in which direction. These are properties of the arrow's axis. So let's create a red arrow with a position at 1, 0, 0. The position attribute for an arrow describes the location of the arrow's tail. Now let's define the axis as stretching plus 1 unit in the x direction, plus 3 units in the y direction, and 0 units in the z direction. Run the program, and let's see if the output matches what you'd expect to happen. All right, good. So well, let's say now I've changed my mind. I want the arrow to start in a different location, which is the current location of the sphere. But I don't want to change the length of the arrow or the direction in which it points. What should I do? To move the arrow to the sphere's location, we change the position attribute of the arrow to match the position attribute of the sphere. So, add a negative to the x-coordinate should do just fine. All right, so there. So let's run it, and let's see what changed in the output. Changing the position of the arrow is like picking up the arrow and putting it in a different location. This does not affect the axis of the arrow. Well, now you can explore creating different types of 3D objects like cylinders and cones and helixes by using the vPython manual located in the help menu or by clicking on the documentation links at vpython.org. For an added challenge, try to recreate the scene shown here, showing three spheres with an arrow connected to each.